cattle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen, happeneth to them all. All right, so if that Renaissance, that was the time for it. That's why it happened specifically at that time. You know, it was the time for Esau to spread his wings, as it were, and, and, and go and corrupt the whole world, just like it says, <laughs> yeah, just like it says in the book of Revelation. That was his time, you know, if I may get that scripture. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? Revelation 20, I think it is. Uh, d d d when the devil came into. Um oh, okay. Well, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah, around the third verse. Now, I just read the scripture, time and chance happened to them all. You heard Apostle Elatar mention the years of the uh, uh, Renaissance period, 1300s, really the 1300s to the 1600s. Well, it was that time. It was his time and his chance. And that lines up with uh, Revelation 20 and 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And that thousand year period was fulfilled around the latter part of the 1300s, which began the so-called Renaissance period, which the word Renaissance means rebirth. And you just heard Apostle Elder Ramla coined the term or read the term um, modernized history, which is what? Modernized history is nothing but lies, lies of the so-called white man, all right? Lies of Esau, lies of Edom. And it happened after that thousand years or that thousand year period, which commonly you know as the Dark Ages. Uh, just like the prophecy says. And after that, he must be loose a little season. And we're in that little season now. The little season began in the, 14, uh, the 1300s. The little season is that so-called Renaissance period. Modernized history. And it's a little little season to the heavenly Father because a thousand years, to a thousand years to us is as one day to the heavenly Father. All right, that's, that's half a day. That's half a when day. When Esau came out of his power seat or came back in the came back in the rulership, his rulership that little time period is half a day. Half a day, which is um, twelve hours. Con. So Esau only got <laughs> only got twelve <laughs> hours. Yeah, you know yeah. that's not a lot of time compared to uh, uh, the eternal eternity. All right. Yeah, that's why the scripture said he, uh, he Revelation twelve and twelve. Now you can understand why he's gonna move like a madman, knowing that he have what. Right, because he knows that he has, but it's short <laughs> time. That's the key word. Not the not yep. Joe sick, not Joe Boxer. <laughs> That's right. You know, not That's Billy right. the 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 construction worker. That's right. You know. That's right. Not 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 uh, 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 Joe the but butcher. Talking about the elite, man. We're dealing the with the elite. That's why you eat a mic. You look at us sideways, Jake. Right. You look at us sideways because you don't know what you look at us like. We're crazy, man. Yeah, you don't know what the hell's going on. You know, you like that guy. Well, that the scripture where it said they accounted us as uh, mad. Yeah, or mad. mad. Yeah. We get, bring that up. Bring that up. Yeah, you like that guy that walks in the theater in the half part of the movie, and he's sitting there. You don't know what the hell's going on. He walked in the movie. Half the movie's already played. He's sitting there. <laughs> but from the beginning of the movie and not understand it. Some yeah, movies yeah. go over your head. Yeah, man. yeah. Well, that's true from the beginning. Um, I'll just read Revelation 12 and 12 if you want to get that scripture, Apostle Elder Ramla, scripture Elder Tar mentioned. Um, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, which, is, which that's the, the angels, right? Uh, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the, and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. And the devil started showing his horns around the 1300s, Renaissance period. But now the devil knows that his time is short. He's about to be plucked out of rulership. So it says, the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. What's an ev uh, what is an example of that great wrath? Martial law, all right? Because they want to establish that new world order and they want to chip everyone. 
you know, I, I put a video on my channel about the chip. Uh, the chip was uh, one of the, the video was entitled uh, The Top 10 Scariest Experiments. And guess what? One of the, ex uh, one of the scariest experience, um, experiments was a chip. You know, the guy gives a list of the scary experiments that the elites have done to people. And number five was the chip. So it's, in, it's an experiment, an experiment in control. Because that's what the elites want. They want control. That's what rulership is all about, right? Rulership is about controlling one person, controlling another person. Mm -hmm. And that's what that chip is all about, man. You know? Total control. Total control. And that, that's why the scriptures say they're going to come down with great wrath because they want, they want that control. And, it, and also it says, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So they know that time is about to be revoked by the Heavenly Father and His Son. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith Yahweh, because that Adawam have dealt against the house of Yahweh by taking vengeance. What does somebody look up the word vengeance? Vengeance is payback. You did something to somebody that somebody that somebody gonna do something to you, right? So we did something to Esau for Esau to do what he's doing to us today, right? And like I've been saying, the elite know that they're the Edomites, and they, they know that we're the Israelites. And had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Revenge, that's another word. 13, therefore thus saith Yahweh, I will stretch out my hand upon Edom. It didn't say he's going to make them employees under Israel, all right? And I will cut off men. Does that mean employment? That, that, that means we're going to give them a pink slip? No, they're going to be cut off. Uh, cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming. And they of Dedan shall die by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. It doesn't say I'm going to cause Israel to be bosses over <laughs> the Edomites. Okay? Right. <laughs> it says... And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. That, that the scripture say in Romans, right? Romans 12, I believe it's 19. Vengeance is, is mine, thus saith the Lord. Well, how is he going to get vengeance? He's going to get vengeance through, by using us. Yeah. All right? And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith Yahweh. Yeah, through us. Yeah, um, the Hebrew word there for vengeance is uh, nakwam. And it basically doesn't say much. It just says uh, vengeance. But if you go to the root word, the etymology of the word, which is also nakwam, it says to avenge, take vengeance, to entertain venge revengeful feelings, to avenge oneself. And that's basically what happened when Esau came into power under the Renaissance period, they were avenging themselves. Because prior before that, they were slaves underneath us. So, a little extra salt. Let's bring a list over these Hamites. Uh, 15 verse. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, because the Philistines, and remember the chem comedic people, have, d have dealt by revenge and have taken vengeance with a deceitful heart to destroy it for the old hatred. Okay, here these niggas are trying to bring the bring these these Hamites back in power. The most I said he's gonna destroy them for the old hatred. All right? <laughs> the old hatred. <laughs> I like that. I like that's a that's a yeah, that's the old that's a, that GMS, the old hatred. <laughs> And that's what Esau has for Jake. Yeah, that's like the old, the old hatred. It's all about vengeance, man. Jacob Payback, and Esau. Man. Going back to Jacob and Esau. All these action adventure movies is about what? Vengeance. At vengeance. the end of the day, yeah. the guy, the good guy, gets the bad guy. Karate movies, man. The, the that's, karate what the, that's the whole premise. That's all it, that's that was all, that's all, yeah. It's all about vengeance. You all about my vengeance. Father, you yep. killed my yep. sister. Yep. Oh, that, the father's tired. Let, let's say he killed your brother. Yeah. You know? And he wanted to see the guy get uh, his, his vengeance. You, well, you, want to see him, you, you want to see him get his ass 
whip at first and then at the end beat yep. the guy down. Beat man. the guy, beat the hell out of the guy, man. You all chanting in the theater, you know? <laughs> hey, well, the movie one flew over the cuckoos, and that's with Nurse Ratchet, man. Con, at the con. end of the movie, when oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 R.P. McMur- Murphy had his hands clutched around her neck, yep. everybody in the theater. They cut, they go like, yeah, kill that bitch. <laughs> All of them. Because yeah, you got yeah. caught up in it, man. Cut, cut, cut. Because of cut. what this bitch did in the whole cut, movie. Cut, cut. Because he was cut. playing mind games with her, yep. and she was playing mind games with him. Right. But she was cheating. She even said that. She said, she, she ain't playing, she ain't, how did he say? <laughs> he ain't, she's playing the rig game. Rig game. game. <laughs> right, right. Cut, <laughs> you know? cut, cut, cut. So she really lost because she had this guy lobotomized, man. Right, right. Because she lost. When this right. when jump, was choking yep. this bitch, yeah, you know? Yeah, con, she con. said, I'm going to have this motherfucker lobotomized, man, you <laughs> con, know? Con, con. So that's what Esau's trying to do. Con. You know, yeah. Esau plays a rig game, man. Yeah. You know, that's why you got your spies, you pay off a lot. You got a lot of money because you got your own money-making machine so you can throw a nigga $50 million yeah. to keep Jake down, but you ain't going to keep us down, man, okay? Yeah, that's right. It that's says, right. Uh, but we're dealing with the Philistines now, right? It said, does say of your how because the Philistines, Kemetic people, have dealt by revenge and have taken vengeance with a de- deceitful heart to destroy it for the old hatred. 16. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will stretch out my hand upon the Philistines and I will cut off the, uh, what is that, Cherithims, uh, Cherithims and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. And I will execute great vengeance upon them, Chemites, uh, uh, with furious rebuke. And they shall know that I am Yahweh when I shall lay my vengeance yeah. upon them. That's, you know, from uh, yeah. the, the Pope Fiction. Come, he come. quoted that. Come, <laughs> you know <come>. that. One. <laughs> well, they changed it. They got different ways of, you know, different versions of it. Yeah, they, they call it creative liability. I think that's one of the, t- you know, Esau has a, always has a fancy term for everything. But um, I got a scripture here, uh, the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Well, he, said, he said at the end of the movie, he did, he liked he liked reading it before he killed somebody. He right. said, I didn't know what it meant. It just right. sounded cool. You <laughs> it know? sounded like some cold <laughs> shit. It sounded, it sounded like some cold <laughs> shit, you know? Well, well, well Tarantino, uh, he, he was Tarantino means uh, uh, the five uh, uh Earths or something like that? What does that mean? Uh, Tarantino? I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, I got to look. We, you know, we, yeah, yeah, you know we, us, we, brother. Yeah, we but anyway, Tarantino put that in there for a reason, man. I know Quentin is five. Yeah, Quentin. Yeah. Right, Tarantino. Right, yeah. Tarant- you're right, Tarantino. Quentin is five. Yep. I got to look up Tarantino. I think it's Con. five lands or something like that. Okay. But anyway, he put that in there for a reason. Con. And he, didn't, he had uh, Samuel play that part and read it because he knows that they're Israelites, man. Right. You know? Yeah, he also knows that he's a Jake, uh, Quentin Tarantino. He knew uh, uh, the proof is the movie, uh, uh, True Romance, the scene with the Sicilians. Anyway, well, we f- we f- uh, as a matter of fact, we f- uh, featured that last week in our lesson last week. Um, the Book of Psalms, the eighty-third chapter, uh, beginning at the first verse, it says, "Keep not thy silence, O Yahweh; hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Power." And that's why we're still speaking to this day, 2016, the year of the push. We're out there speaking because that's an, uh, that is an example of the Heavenly Father not keeping silent because he speaks through us. And it's on top of that, the most I bless us with a, today is um, outside is uh, 61 degrees. Yeah, look at that. It's like a spring day. Last yeah. Week uh, last week it was cold as hell. That's right. Colder than a witch's tit. That's right. And we, and we were still out there. We're still out there. Uh, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. That's that old hatred. All right? They uh, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. One of the reasons why the the true Israelites are hidden is through those lies that the so-called white man propagated, beginning at uh, the uh, 1300s. The so-called modernized history. That's what created that uh, the Lord's hidden people, because they were their uh, na- their true nationality was hidden, hidden by those lies. All right. It says they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation." 
that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's why you so-called Negroes, you West Indians, you Puerto Ricans, you Mexicans, you 12 tribes, that's why you predominantly don't call yourself Israelites today. Because they did, the, they did their job, man. These devils, they did their job. You know, they, they, they did a good job being the devil. All right? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now it's going to name the names. It's going to name those nations. The first nation is the Tabernacles of Edom. <laughs> now, who is that? The Tabernacles of Edom, that's the so-called white man. All right? The Tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, that's your Arabs. They're in there, too. You know, as a matter of fact, the Arabs got together with the real Africans, the Cam uh, Chemites, and sold you into slavery, you so-called Negroes. That's why it's called a slave trade. And that's why they're on this list. And the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gibal and Ammon, and Amalek. Amalek is the so-called Jew. As a matter of fact, the slavery, uh, in slavery, the slave ships were all financed by who? So-called Jews. They financed the slave ships. Dutch West India. Uh, right. Say that on the mic. The, uh, the Dutch East India Company and the Dutch West India Com Company. They, there you go. There you go, man. Um, uh, uh, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. So there's the Philistines, the Chemites, the real Africans. They're part of that list, too. And remember, it says... They that hate thee have lifted up their head. All those guys in that black consciousness bullshit, they're going to have their heads down for a long time oh, in absolutely. the kingdom. All right? Yeah. For being so proud about pushing another nation when you're not that nation, man. Yeah. You know? You got to wake up. Hey, it says. That's why we don't deal with you guys. We, we don't give you the time of day, man. That's right. Because I react don't know no better. He's a kid. He don't right. know no goddamn better. He making a little bit of money. He's a novice. He a damn kid. He's a novice, man. Con. We know. We seen right through you niggas, and we, we don't deal with y'all, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it mentions the Philistines. Then it says, have lifted up the head against you so-called Negroes. That's the Chemites. There used to be a show called Desmond's. Uh, came out in uh, England. It was like a, a comedy show. And they, all, they had an African a dude there playing an African character. And he used to always get in the, he used to sit in the barbershop because the the show takes place in the barber shop, Desmond's. Yeah, with the, with the Jake, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, pork pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pork pie. Remind me of um, uh, this guy uh, from uh, Mobile. You know the big. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You, that's you remind right. me yeah. of him. You remind Johnson, me of him. Johnson. You remind me of Johnson. Yeah. Right. He used right, to go right. to the horse races. Con, and con. then when he, he put the money down, and then he, he sees a horse, and he starts yep. going like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, con, con. Yeah, pork pie. And there was a character in there, an African dude, and he used to always get into arguments. Well, you people, and, and they show you, in the, they show you in, the, in Desmond's that the Africans know they're not, you know, your people. You know, they show you right there in that, in that sitcom. Yeah, and then you had the movie, uh, you well, could speak about well, that. The, the ones that called him Akata, well, they were Akata, they damn so. Yeah. They were Nigerian, man. Yeah, look at that. But, but you know what? Jake over there in Africa, because that's where everything... Um, What's this, this brother, uh, uh, Red, Red Pill, he did a, a presentation on one of the Sarnetta things. And he, was, he was going in, man, and he was showing you that them Nigerians with the technology, he said they sub the banking system, they surpass Esau, man. Their technology, what Esau is doing now, them Nigerians had, had that down packed three, four years ago. That's how, that's how they make, they scam people over here. They, they, them, why? Because they're jakes. And they talk down on other Jakes because you know why? Because you, you, you Jakes do everything based upon the approval of this Edomite, man. That's why uh, Jada Pink Pinkett Smith, she, she made a big deal about the Oscars. Why, why would you make a big deal? Don't, don't worry about the Oscars. Do your own goddamn thing, man. See, deep down, no matter how much so-called black pride you got, you want approval from this devil, man. We ain't looking for no goddamn approval. We doing our thing, and we keep moving, man. Just like them Nigerians. Them Nigerians ain't looking for the approval of this man. That's why they... Su 